Hi, my name is Joe Smith. I'm a forensic architect at Pi Consulting and Engineering. I'm going to be walking you through a short PowerPoint today uh, that describes a little bit about what our forensic engineers and specialists do here. Uh, the slide presentation is Forensically Speaking. When I started work here at Pi uh, and having worked with forensic engineers and other experts for well over a decade, uh, I recently realized I actually didn't know uh, the origination uh, or true meaning of forensics. So I thought I'd do a little bit of research. And as you can see from the slide, uh, the word forensic comes from uh, Latin, uh, meaning of or before the forum. And in Roman times, uh, forensic experts were those involved in uh, helping to guide the court or the decision maker in rendering justice. Uh, interestingly, uh, forensic experts are uh, expected to be able to speak well, uh, and in the Roman times, the individual with the best argument and delivery would determine the outcome of the case. Uh, there are two modern usages of the word forensic, as you can see, as a form of legal evidence and as a category of public presentation. Probably more interestingly, when I started here at Pi, my mom, who's an emergency room nurse in California, uh, thought that I was going to be a crime scene specialist uh, or a forensic specialist in the uh, medical or police sense. Uh, I've tried to explain to her for the past year that that's not what I do, uh, but she still thinks this is the type of work that I do here at Pi. Similarly, she thinks uh, that I do autopsies as a forensic architect, uh, and I am trying to dissuade her of that uh, thought, uh, much to her chagrin. I am neither an artist nor uh, a coroner or an autopsy person. Finally, some of you may remember the classic TV show starring Jack Klugman, Quincy M.E. Uh, again, my mom thinks that my forensic uh, job and that of the other folks here at Pi involves being a medical examiner and we're trying to convince her that's just not the case. Forensic engineering itself has a more specific definition uh, which you can see on this slide. Uh, in brief it is the investigation of materials, products, structures, or components that fail or do not operate or function as intended causing personal injury or damage to property. Uh, the field also deals with retracing processes and procedures leading to accidents in operation of vehicles or machinery. PI Forensics, PI Consulting and Engineering uh, has experts that do work in all of these various fields and we'd be happy to do work for you. Throughout the presentation I'll show you some slides of various uh, projects our forensic specialists have worked on. This is a three-story apartment complex or apartment building located in the Denver metro area and you can see uh, from the uh, racking of the building itself, the doors, uh, the door frames, the entire building there on the right side, uh, there's something going on and it, after investigation by our engineers we determined there's vertical, differential vertical foundation movement requiring an underpin uh, structural foundation solution. As part of our work on this project, we put together various plans and repair details and specifications. Uh, this is a compilation of a couple of the details and one of our floor plans showing the locations of the existing caissons to be clipped as well as the new micropile underpin system to be installed. These are photos from the crawl space of the apartment building itself. You can see in the upper right corner previous repairs have been attempted. Uh, and unfortunately are not uh, working to the satisfaction of the apartment owner. You can see in the lower left picture uh, there's been a substantial amount of moisture and in fact standing water in the crawl space. Here at Pi we take our job seriously but we also like to have fun. Uh, this is Tyler Schween, one of our engineering engineers in training. After crawling through that crawl space uh, this is what a forensic engineer in training looks like here at Pi. Here's another project we worked on recently. This is an approximately 120 year old building in the Denver area uh, subsequent to a sewer line break in the alley just to the left of the brick building. 
uh, the left back corner in the upper left photo began to collapse. You can see evidence of that damage in the upper right picture. As part of our uh, involvement, we initially went out and designed and oversaw the implementation of emergency shoring, which is depicted in the lower two photographs. This was a solid brick foundation, uh, approximately three to four feet below the adjoining grade. Uh, as we got further into the project, uh, it became clear that the brick itself was simply deteriorating. Uh, we weren't tasked with determining the cause of the deterioration, but we had to take that into consideration in designing a partial underpin repair in this uh, back left corner, uh, both on the alley side and 90 degrees around the corner to that on the courtyard side of the building. These are some photos of the repair work and underpinning in progress. Uh, the upper left and lower left photos uh, in particular. The lower left is the uh, bracket component and the top of the micropile itself. You can see the deteriorating or crumbling brick foundation wall immediately above that. The upper right picture was an additional uh, set of temporary or emergency shoring that we designed on site and again oversaw the implementation of. This was during the repairs after a concrete stoop had been removed, uh, eliminating or reducing the lateral support uh, to the foundation wall itself uh, in order to prop up the building during the completion of the underpinning. Uh, we came up with this temporary shoring which uh, was fully functional, allowed us to complete the underpinning and get the repairs in place with no further damage or lateral movement uh, or uh, destruction of the foundation below or behind where the stoop was. In the lower right photo, you can see the nearly completed project. It just needs some paint on the brick and the uh, parge coat on the foundation, but you can see a couple of the ties still in place and then a nice clean uh, corner where previously the substantial cracks and, cracks and collapse had existed. Here again is Tyler, our forensic engineer in training. He has a mechanical engineering background at the School of Mines here in Colorado. Uh, during a recent uh, forensic trip to St. Louis, uh, Tyler decided to uh, take some photos and provide some support to the city of St. Louis uh, with their famous arch there. Along on that project was our roofing expert, uh, Dustin Smoot. Uh, he too decided to lend some support to the arch, uh, and this turned out to be good training for his uh, trip to Mount Rainier here in mid-June to climb uh, two mountains uh, there in Washington, the culmination being Mount Rainier uh, along with three other climbing buddies of his. This was a building enclosure investigation performed in the mountains west of Denver. Uh, this was a stucco exterior veneer system. You can see the substantial damage and deterioration uh, we were tasked to take a look at the building and uh, determine what was going on uh, and help the insurance carrier decide uh, what further steps to take in terms of investigation and or repair recommendations. In the upper right photo you can see repairs which had been made prior to our arriving on site. Uh, these repairs were required due to the uh, substantial structural deterioration of the frame wall system. Uh, due to water being trapped in and behind the stucco system. Here are additional photos of the church in the mountains. Uh, you can see how easily we were able to remove pieces of the exterior sheathing behind the stucco. In the upper left you can see the deterioration of the original framing and sheathing uh, as opposed to the new temporary uh, repair that we looked at on the previous slide. And in the lower photo, you can see the extent of damage and deterioration to the original stucco and the contractor's uh, initial approach to uh, restuccoing areas that needed it uh, in the short term prior to uh, total repair package being prepared and uh, implemented uh, by the church. We've also done a number of projects regarding uh, movement of structures, including parking structures. Uh, this is a Denver area parking structure. Uh, you can see the lateral movement. This occurred during adjacent work on a new light rail station. We were tasked with observing the distress and damage and consulting with the original design professionals to determine an appropriate scope of repair. 
We've also been doing work at the RTD Denver Union Station project. Uh, you can see the long, uh, tall shoring wall along the length of the building. We were involved with uh, implementing a monitoring system for uh, slope instability or soil instability for the subjacent support for the building. We are also doing ongoing vibration monitoring to ensure that the adjacent construction work uh, isn't causing damage to this registered historic structure. And the other photos show different aspects of the shoring wall uh, and the building itself as we continue to monitor it. Thank you very much for your time. Hope you enjoyed the slide presentation. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Thank you.